so perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful yellow sunshine. These are conditions for the beautiful game, at least that is how it should be. The backdrop could not be any more idyllic. The players are with us now, the crowd is in in good number and in shirt sleeve order. It is lovely to be able to breathe fresh air without having to wrap oneself up to the gills and simply to uh, turn up and to enjoy a match that matters to so many. The ultra-modern home of Arsenal, a symbol of their class, their timeless sophistication. The national anthem of Uruguay rings out. shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And of course, the right service into the box. Suarez. Luis Suarez. He's left his man. Just deflected behind for a corner. Knocks it away. Bentancur. Now it's Cavani, big chance, goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Look, the goal was well manufactured, but the striker probably can't believe he's been given that much space in the penalty area, and he wasn't going to miss. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Godin. Decent looking ball. Chance goes for goal. All the balls come loose. Forward it goes. Uruguay are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1 0 lead to show for it. He goes along. And it's Luis Suarez. on that he 
Uruguay scored early, of course, and the score is 1-0. Brushed off the ball there. Luis Suarez. And needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Cuts it out. And the score's only 1 0, but that doesn't tell the full story. Time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. So first half thoughts? Uruguay, I suspect, will be a little irked that they haven't established a, a bigger lead. However, they have the ability and personality to fix that. Uruguay come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. Plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we're already into the second period. Uruguay really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Caceres... Caceres. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Yeah, he's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Uruguay making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front, and this is something different. Tries to get it forward quickly. Can he put it away? Panama are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best and they back it up with goals. Personnel. <laughs> Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, at 1 0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And the weighted pass gets it back. And he's made certain that won't get through. This is in a low one. They'll have a dip! A oh, great save, real class. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A plus grade. Panama, very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it, 
and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work, and they are. Oh, well intercepts it, really alerts the danger. Looks to clip it forward, played into space out wide. increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Plays it long. Now can he... Is it in? It's in! Late drama! Late goal! This will be one frantic ending! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. <laughs> Uruguay making consecutive changes here. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. <laughs> Panama give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Cotin. Uruguay just have to run down the clock. Cotin goes up and over. Cavani looking to run onto it. There's going to be another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. I think that's happened in this case. And it's hoisted clear. The referee has seen it up. Uruguay have held on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Uruguay simply.